Hey everyone, it's me Jay, and today I want to sit down and talk about something that's been on my mind lately. It's been something that has affected me throughout my entire life, whether it's because I'm Mexican or because I'm trans. Even though I've never really experienced any violent forms or straight out forms of transphobia, homophobia, or racism, I have experienced a lot of these. And what I'm talking about today is microaggressions. And if you guys don't know what microaggressions are, they surround our each and everyday life. It's basically stereotypes that are said in an ignorant manner, but have like a really, really deep down, just racist or transphobic meaning. And like they come from stereotypes and it's just, it's not a good experience whenever you are a part of one of these, whenever someone says something about you that's involved in a microaggression. For example, my entire life I was told, you know, it's crazy that you're Mexican when you have colored eyes. And like that was a microaggression that I experienced and I was a part of and growing up I thought it was normal. I was I normalized it. I normalized this stereotype that Mexicans aren't supposed to have colored eyes. When in reality that's just a bunch of bullshit. Um, stereotypes are fucking stupid and microaggressions are terrible. They can make you feel terrible. I felt really really bad lately because of one that I experienced. And I want to share that story with you guys because I know I know how hard like situations like these can be to get through and I know how unfortunate it can be, especially for people in the trans community. And this centers around my trans identity and what happened to me recently. And I'm going to tell you guys two stories. So I'm going to first tell you guys one that happened to me um, way previously. Like I was just starting my transition, but I was a few months in. My entire workplace knew me as Jay, she, her pronouns, and I was identifying as such. And everyone knew that. All my coworkers knew that. And you know, I was pretty close with everyone. I talked openly with anyone who had any questions about me. I was really, really just confident in the person that I was. I was happy that I made a safe space in my workplace and I was just really comfortable being myself. And I know how hard it is to find that, find communities of people who accept you. That was a really big struggle for me. And even today, I still struggle trying to find those communities. Well, even in safe spaces, there are times where little hints of transphobia, little hints of racism kind of gets through the cracks. And I want to share my experience with what has happened to me in my workplace that are microaggressions, that are things that have impacted me, that made me feel like shit. So basically, I was at work and I had to go pee and I often take pee breaks. My medicine makes me always have to pee. Hormones are the worst. They make you have to urinate every two seconds. But anyways, I'm at work and I have to go pee. So um, I'm walking up to the front. I tell Emily, cause she's working with me in the back. I was working in the kitchen and I go up to the front and then um, I'm passing the cashier and she says something to me like, where am I going or if I'm clocking out or something. And the cashier knew about me. She was working there as long as I was working there. And I'm like, oh no, I just have to go to the restroom real quick. I'm not clocking out. And right when I said that, she responded with, oh, Michael's in the restroom right now, which was a male employee that was working with us. I'm using a fake name, but we'll just go with Michael for this. But she was like, you know, hey, like Michael's in the restroom right now. Kind of telling me so I would know that the bathroom's occupied. But I was identifying as female and there was a male in women's restroom. So why would she tell me, hey, Michael's in the restroom, if she didn't see me as a male? And it was like one of those things where I, I like stood there and I, I was like, wait, what? I was kind of like thrown back, like why she said that. And I was like, okay. And I responded like, like nervously. And I was like, what? And I still went to the restroom and I used the women's restroom because it wasn't occupied. And I was just really upset. These are one stop bathrooms, by the way. And I was really upset by that entire situation. I told Emily, and even Emily was like, what the fuck, like what kind of, you know, what would, what, why would she say that? She knows about me. But on her defense, I know it was said out of ignorance. Like I said, I had just started my transition. But these kind of things, these like small little things can really affect my entire day. They can really re make me rethink of who I am, how I present myself. And it just really sucks. It's like getting misgendered almost. Um, but it's like a small insult instead. It's kind of highlighting my insecurities and I absolutely hate when that happens. I hate feeling like in that situation. Another one recently, it was also at work. It was recently moved to a different restaurant, a part of this big company. There's different restaurants on campus and I was working at one with Emily for a really long time, but now she's gonna be promoted to a supervisor so we can't really work together anymore because we're dating. So I was moved to a different restaurant and occasionally after I'm done with my shift in my new restaurant, I'll hang out with the people at the old restaurant because they were fellow co-workers who understand me. It was my safe space and Emily's working there so a lot of times I wait for her and her shift to finish. 
Well, um, one day we had a secret shopper come in, and if you guys don't know what a secret shopper is, it's someone that they hired to come inside the restaurant, order a meal, and then without us knowing, they're surveying us and they have to fill out a form. The secret shopper claimed that there was a group of males inside the office at this restaurant, which I no longer work at, who were talking really bad about the company. And I didn't know this until I was called into a meeting. My supervisor called me into a meeting, along with all the male employees that work at this restaurant. And first of all, I don't remember that conversation at all. I wasn't a part of it. The person that surveyed said it was a group of males. Second of all, I work at a different restaurant. He said it was a group of male employees at that specific restaurant. So even if I did come back and I was visiting Emily and I was gossiping, in no way or shape could have been me. I was still called there and I was still referred to as a male, even though I identify as me myself. Every customer that I see, everyone that I know, my bosses know that I am a woman, that I identify as a woman, that I I go by she her pronouns but I was still called into this for some fucking reason this was just a week ago so it's really been on my mind and it's really been bugging me and I'm getting really upset about how the way the company is treating me and it's just little things like that that can ruin my entire day little things like that that can just make me feel so insecure with the way that I present myself I still don't know why I was called I expressed my feelings to my supervisor and he said he'll explain it but he never did so I feel very, very attacked. I feel very small. I feel just very disgusted. Like no one is seeing me the way that I want to be seen and it hurts. And I know that random people that I don't know see me the way that I want to be seen. But for some reason, I got called into this meeting. So it's like small things like that. And I don't know if these will necessarily be claimed as a microaggression because there's a whole scenario behind it and it's not a specific statement, but it does feel like such. It's, it's like a small ignorant thing that affects me deeply. And I don't know, I just feel very engulfed by it. I feel like I'm drowning in just this ignorance and it hurts a lot. So I want to make a video today kind of explaining microaggressions and my experience. And maybe if you guys have any experience, you can leave a comment down below. Explain to me what has happened to you, because I would love to hear your stories. I feel like everyone's story deserves to be heard. So we can avoid this in the future, so other people can be informed. So feel free to leave your story down below. Thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed making this video. I really enjoyed opening up my heart, kind of expressing the things that are on my mind. And if you guys want to support me, I have a Patreon and I have an album. Those links will be in the description, along with my Twitter and my Instagram. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!